Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to the Chels Teaches Yoga YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much once again for joining me from wherever you are to practice yoga. All right, so if you haven't already, I would appreciate it so much if you like this video, share it with your friends and family, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with all of the new resources and videos that we have to offer here. In addition, check out all the links below for additional resources that you can use to support you in this practice. All right, so today's class is all about letting go of expectations. It's all about moving with the water element. So the water element is associated with the sacral chakra, which we've been talking about all month. The sacral chakra is the second of our energetic centers sitting here in the pelvic region. It's associated with the element of water, which also brings us associations such as our divine feminine quality, our creativity, our nourishing tendencies. So with this flow today, I want you to just let go of expectations and allow yourself to just move through the poses, to feel, to be sensual, to get in touch with your feminine side, with your water energy, and just enjoy the class. Never push past your limits as always. Any props that you have that you enjoy or that help you feel supported in your practice, please of course grab them and I will meet you right back here in Child's Pose. All right, everyone, welcome to your yoga practice. Let's meet in child's pose. Balasana, knees wide on the mat. Bring your big toes together as you rest the upper body down to the floor. Relax your arms. Take a long, deep breath in through your nose. Then open your mouth, let it go. Allow yourself to become present here in your body and on your mat. And especially in your breath. Here in this class today, we'll be tapping into our water element, into our feminine side as we let go of expectations. Allow yourself to chart forward in this practice as you will in your life. Just moving and going with the flow and knowing that regardless of the twists and turns that come up, you will end up exactly where you need to be. Inhale, stretch the arms out a little bit further in front of you. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right side of the mat, just as far as you can, stretching out the left side of the body. Take some nice deep breaths. Hmm. Even allow your breath to embody a water-like quality as it moves in and out of the body. Inhale, walk the hands back through center and then take your hands over to the left as far as you can. Breathe into the right side of your body as you stretch between the shoulder and the hip. Let go of expectations. Expectations are, of course, a form of attachment, which according to yoga philosophy is one of the main sources of suffering when we attach ourselves to something. When we expect too much of something, if we become disappointed or they don't, things don't go as we expect, we end up hurting, we end up suffering. So in order to relieve some of that suffering, we can just eliminate the idea of expectations and instead just move forward and trust that we're going where we need to. Inhale back through center. As you exhale, keep your knees wide, start to come up in onto your palms. You're going to lean a little bit forward, so you'll have to walk your hands forward with you as you drop your hips slightly. Squeeze your left knee to your left tricep. It might not reach far, just as much as you can. Send the deep knee back, we'll shift the hips a little. And then exhale, come back forward. See if you can bring that right knee up towards your right tricep. And just keep moving like that, right? So inhale, back with the hips. Exhale forward, left knee squeezes up. Inhale back. Exhale forward, right knee squeezes up. Maybe you're more like me and it's a little more like your wrist rather than your tricep. Inhale back. Exhale, left side squeeze toward your left arm. Exhale, last time take it back. Exhale forward, right knee squeezes to your right arm. Take it all the way back, child's pose. Exhale, tabletop. All right, begin to walk your knees back underneath your hips, wrists under shoulders, and we'll go for a couple cat cows here. So inhale, drop the belly down. Exhale, round the spine. 
A few more, just move with your breath. Let it guide you, let go of expectations of how long each pose needs to be. Instead, just let your intuition guide you. Those feminine qualities, that water-like energy is associated with intuition. So just let yourself connect and move intuitively. One more round. Nice job. All right. From here, walk your knees back slightly and start to bring your belly down onto the mat. Slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Hug your elbows in as you press the tops of the feet into the floor. Coming into cobra rolls here. As you inhale, push into your hands, come up into a cobra, bhujangasana, come up only as high as you want here, keeping your elbows in by your sides, heart lifted, shoulders back. As you exhale, melt the chest all the way down. And again, just continue like that intuitively, as high or as low as it feels good. And don't worry about the length of each one, just move intuitively. Let go of expectations. The inhale is to come up. The exhale is to come down. That is the only guideline here. Imagine the spine is almost undulating. How about two more rounds at your pace? Nice job. Inhale, come all the way back up to tabletop. Spread the fingers wide on the mat. Exhale here. Now really begin to make sure you are pushing down into your palms in all 10 fingertips so you have this ultimate sensation of grounding. This is going to be really important for these next moves. Tuck your toes and we're going to start to hover the knees just like two inches off the mat. Start to activate your core here by knitting the ribs in, push the ground away. See if you can take three breaths. You got it. You're strong, you're powerful. Let go of expectations of even yourself. Sometimes if you don't think you can do it, you won't even try, right? <sighs> Big breath in, exhale, bear pose. So you're gonna keep your knees hovering, but start to take them wide as you push into your hands and send your hips back to your heels. Take another big breath in, exhale, you're gonna step or hop to Malasana. Hands come out, I'm sorry, feet come outside the hands, lower the hips down. Now it's pretty early for Malasana and we haven't done a ton of hip openers. So don't feel like you have to drop the tailbone all the way down if it's not ready for that. If your hips are fighting you, then come up a little higher. If your hips are all the way down, go ahead and bring your palms together and lodge the elbows inside the knees, lifting the chest. <sighs> Begin to breathe into your hips. Envision a little bit of glowing orange light at the center of the pelvis. Orange is the color associated with the sacral chakra, Svadhisthana. So allow this to help bring your focus there to that energetic space that we are clearing and balancing. All right. So for this one, this is a little harder. Um, if you have sensitive knees at all, I'm gonna recommend coming not as low into Malasana. We're going into curtsy lunges into Malasana. So what you'll do is you'll stand all the way up. Stand up tall, keep your feet turned out as you would Malasana. Step your left foot to cross behind your right, taking a little bit of a curtsy, hands to heart. As you exhale, take the feet back to Malasana stance, send the hips down as low as you can handle. So my knees, I have bad knees, so this is about as far as I can do when I'm coming up and down like that. If you can come all the way down, fine. Inhale, other side, cross the right foot behind the left curtsy lunge. Exhale, Malasana. We're gonna do it five more times each side. You got this, inhale to the right. Exhale, Malasana. Inhale, left. Exhale, Malasana. Keep going. You got it. Last one each side. Awesome job. job. This time make your way a little deeper into Malasana if you can. Take a long deep breath in, let go of expectations. Exhale, just oh, let yourself roll back. Happy baby, reach for the pinky edges of the feet or wherever you can comfortably grab. Settle into your happy baby. 
And just really allow yourself to enjoy this movement. Don't put pressure on it to be anything. Let go of expectations and just let it be. Maybe you find that little gentle rock side to side. Ha. Ah. Two more breaths. All right, release, hug the knees into the chest, kick your legs overhead, and exhale, rock yourself all the way forward. Make your way to a tabletop. Big breath in and tabletop, and big breath out. Exhale, downward dog. A few breaths here. Settle into your down dog, any movements that feel needed. Allow the shoulders to roll open, relax the head, relax the gaze between the knees. Let go of expectations. Inhale, lift your right toes high to the sky. Exhale, look forward, step your right foot in between your hands. Now, easy twist. So the left hand stays planted, wrist under shoulder. Sweep your right arm to the sky. Draw your top shoulder, your top ribs back as you hug your right thigh bone back into the space of the pelvis. Funky transition, let go of expectations. Put down, push down into your right foot. Lift all the way up. Ooh, maybe there's a wobble in there. High twist. So right knee is bent. You're in this lunge position. Arms are open like a T out to the right. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now stay twisted. You're gonna drop your right hand to the back of your left thigh or as close as you can reach it. Reach your left arm up and over. Revolved high twist. Keep angling your chest over to the right side as you extend through your left leg. Whew. Ground through the right toes. Big breath in. Exhale, angled lunge. Lean forward, chest over the thigh as you reach your arms to the front. You got this. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You are strong, you are powerful. Let go of expectations of how this practice should look, how you should feel, or what you should be capable of. Inhale. Exhale, runners lunge, hands down. Oh. Step back, down dog. Great job. Walk it out, shake it out. Take a big breath to release your expectations that you have of your left leg. Big inhale. Audible exhale. <sighs> Inhale, sweep your left toes high to the sky. Exhale, look forward, step that left foot between your hands. We start with easy twist. Right wrist is under the shoulder. Pull the left thigh back into the space of the pelvis. Sweep your left arm high. <sighs> you can always shorten your stance if that helps come up, but take a moment to feel this high twist. Let go of expectations. Ground through your left foot. Begin to push into the power of your left leg. Rise up. High twist. So you're in a lunge. Chest is rotating to the left side. Arms are open like a T. Broaden through your collarbones. It's okay if you wobble. Ground down through the left inner edge of your foot. Take this left hand. Reach for the back of your right thigh. Revolved. Easy, or revolved high twist. Right arm reaches up and back. Try to lift the chest as you rotate it towards the left and extend through your right arm. Let go of expectations. Push your back heel high as you inhale. Exhale, angled lunge. Reach your arms forward. Find that hover. Breathe. You got it. You're powerful. You're capable. Inhale. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step back, down dog. Nice job. All right, gently gaze to the front of your mat. Start to walk or even hop your feet to meet your hands. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Lengthen your spine, bring the shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart. Moving into balancing, let go of expectations. If you fall, you fall, you try again. If you expect that you fall, what's gonna happen? You're gonna set yourself up for failure. If you just let yourself go through the journey and you know that whatever happens, you're gonna end up where you're meant to, then it's gonna be so much better. Hands to heart, shift your weight to your right leg. Lift your left knee up to hover. Big breath in and as you exhale, standing figure four, left ankle crosses over the right knee. Flex your left foot, send the hips back. Maybe find a spot in front of you to focus on. Breathe deeply. Let go of expectations. 
Regardless of what happens, what's challenging or what isn't, you're going to end up where you're meant to be. Inhale here. Exhale, maybe get a little lower. Let's inhale, straighten the right leg, lift the left leg to hover once more. Exhale, keep your hands at heart, start to move back into a warrior three. Extend your left leg back as you hug your belly in. If you need extra support, hands can come to rest on the top of your right thigh. That can be really helpful. Keep a micro bend, if not more, in your right knee. And if you fall, you try again. All right, long deep breath in. Exhale, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So right hand is gonna reach for the floor or even possibly a block if you have it. Start to peel your left hip open and reach the left hand to the sky. Flex your left toes towards the side. You can look up, you can look down. If you're really wobbly, looking down can be helpful. Woo. Breathe, you got it. Oh my goodness. Inhale, bend your right knee a little bit more. As you exhale, send the left foot back like you're setting up for warrior two. Inhale, come up warrior two. Arms extend. Exhale, pivot your toes to face the left side of your mat. Wide-legged forward fold. <sighs> Ooh. Take a moment to just oh, breathe, reconnect. That was a lot on the right leg. Let go of expectations and just be here. Just be present. If you want a little more sensation, you're welcome to grab the ankles here or even walk your hands underneath you. But the most important part is to breathe. Two more breaths. All right, micro bend the, the, the knees. Start to roll up. <sighs> One vertebra at a time. Exhale, step the left foot to meet the right at the front of the mat. Okay, let's move to the other side. Let's bring hands to heart, let go of expectations. Shift to the left leg, lift your right leg up. Exhale, standing figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Bend your left knee, send the hips back. Keep your spine tall. Flex the right feet, the right foot. Draw your shoulders back and together. Find that calm breath. If you fall, you try again. Inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little deeper. Inhale, lift up, uncross the ankle. Keep the hands at the heart as you send the right leg back for a warrior three variation. Option for hands to the top of the thigh if you feel like you need a little extra support, which is totally fine. I'm actually gonna do that on this side. I'm getting a little tired. Hands are either at heart or on the top of the thigh. <sighs> Micro bend the left knee as you flex your right toes towards the earth. Keep the spine long. Inhale. Exhale, half moon. Left hand reaches for the floor or possibly a block. Start to peel the right hip open. Extend the right arm to the sky. Open the hips, open the shoulders. <sighs> at the very least, there's a micro bend in the left knee, if not more. <sighs> Look up or down. Don't worry about it being perfect. Breathe. Inhale, start to bend your left knee. Exhale, land the right foot as softly as possible. Inhale, lift the torso, warrior two. And exhale, pivot to the right side of your mat. Exhale, ha. Ah, wide fold. Maybe this time, grab opposite elbows and just kind of sway side to side with the torso. Mm, let go of expectations. Two more breaths. Really just let the upper body hang. Beautiful job. Bend the knees a little bit, release the elbows, come all the way up one vertebra at a time. Exhale, step the right foot forward to meet the left, Tadasana. All right, from here, let's inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. On the exhale, take a nice big cactus back bend, open your heart. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, make your way all the way onto your seat. Okay, and as you make your way to a comfortable seat, allow the legs to cross just comfortably in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to your right. Just bring your left hand outside of the right knee, right hand behind you, gaze gently back. 
And just rotating through the center of the body, through the spine. Try to sit up tall on the sit bones and lift through the crown of the head. Beautiful job. Inhale, unravel, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand outside of the left knee. Gaze gently back. Let go of expectations of how your practice needed to be or how you should feel at this point. And just know that you are on the journey that you're meant to be on. Inhale, unravel, arms up. Exhale, side bend, right arm down, left arm over. You can stay here on the palm, or if there's space, you can come down to the forearm, but no need to force it. <sighs> Keep opening up through your left shoulder, the left side of your torso. Open it up, rotate back. Inhale, rise all the way up. And we'll take our final side bend over to the left, maybe the palm or the forearm. Sweep the right arm up and over. Stay grounded through both of your sit bones as you breathe. Breathe deeply into a space of acceptance, of trust. Trust in yourself, trust in your practice. Trust in the universe. Trust that your life is unfolding exactly as it's meant to. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release down. Find a wide-legged stance now. Remember never to force yourself deeper than you feel physically capable of going. So flex the toes, engage the legs a little bit, sit towards the front of your sit bones. If you're having difficulty doing that, sometimes sitting on a blanket or a cushion can help to tilt your hips forward. Just do the best you can. Hands start out in front of you. Maybe all you do is lean forward into the hands. That's enough today. Allow your practice to unfold just as it's meant to. If you have space, you can walk it forward, possibly coming to the forearms. Allow each exhale to not only soften the tension in your body, but to soften your attitude towards yourself, to soften the expectations or the rigid control that you are trying to have over your practice or your life. Soften those restrictions and those constraints and instead embody the qualities of the element of water. Embody your divine feminine energy, your ability to go with the flow, to journey through, past, around, and over obstacles that present themselves. Last two breaths. Inhale, begin to walk yourself all the way back in. And now coming into a butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. Let's bring soles of feet together, knees out wide. Grab the fronts of your shins or your ankles if you can reach comfortably. Same as before, try to sit forward on your sit bones. If you need to prop up the back of your tailbone, that can be super helpful. Inhale, shoulders back, long spine. Exhale, maybe all you do is lean, maybe hands on the floor or feel free to take it as deep as your body and your limits will allow today. Remember, no pushing, no forcing. Forcing is the opposite of flowing, right? Forcing is control rather than letting go, and we're trying to let go here. Last two breaths. Inhale slowly to come up. <clears throat> come to just a comfortable seated position now. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to gently rest over your pelvis, over your low belly, your sacral chakra center. Gently close your eyes 
As you return your awareness to Svadhisthana, the sacral chakra, imagine a gentle orange glowing light filling the pelvis with warmth, comfort, emotion, pleasure, permission. Take a moment to affirm to yourself that I connect with my emotions. I connect to the divine feminine within. I let go of expectations and control. I go with the flow. I move and flow like water. I am calm yet powerful. I allow myself to be nourished. I accept myself and my journey for exactly who I am. I am creative. I am sensual. I give myself permission to feel. Beautiful job. Allow your eyes to remain softly closed as you join the palms together in front of the center of the heart. Thumbs resting on your chest, sealing your practice with Anjali Mudra. This is a gesture of reverence for yourself and for your practice, for the journey that you are on, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. We'll finish our practice together with an Om. Take a long, deep breath in to prepare. As you take another inhale, lift the thumb tips up to tap the center of your forehead, the seat of your intuition of which we have been connecting with and allowing ourselves to be led by and as you exhale gently forward fold thank you so much for sharing your practices with me all right everyone thank you so much as always i hope you enjoyed the practice today remember you can leave me any questions or comments in the comment box below make sure to like this video please share it with others and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get notified every time i put up a brand new free video that you can practice from the comfort of your home and be sure to check the links below for lots of extra resources that can support you in your yoga practice if you're interested in even more content and even more support, you can also join my virtual yoga community, the Yoga Magic Studio. There are five tiers for you to choose from, ranging anywhere from five to $15, all of them getting you different, new and exclusive content every single month. And right now, the highest tier, the Ether tier, which is normally $15 a month, is now offering a one week free trial when you sign up. So if you're not sure if you like it, if you're not sure you're going to use the content, this is a great opportunity for you to sign up, get a week for free, see what sort of content you'll get every single month and what's available to you inside the studio and see if it seems like the place for you. We would love for you to join us there and share your journey as we all continue on ours. All right. Thank you again so much. I appreciate you all for taking this class with me and sharing your comments with me. I can't wait to see you next time right here on the mat.